Happy, Happy Tuesday, Tuesday Eastview. Eastview. I'm Cadence. I'm Logan. And welcome back to another episode of The Forecast. Stay, Stay tuned. tuned. Today after school or tomorrow at 7.05, there will be a mandatory Business Professionals of America meeting in room C241. All contest selections must be submitted by the end of the school day tomorrow. Latin Student Club will be having their next meeting on Thursday this week after school in B321. See their Instagram for more information. There will be a crochet in club meeting today after school in the learning commons. All are welcome, no experience or supplies needed. Uh, Logan, what are you doing? Oh, I was just thinking about trying out for the swim team. Oh, well, speaking of the swim team, Nayla made a recap of our swim team's awesome season. Take it away, Nayla. The Girls' Day Diving Competition was held Thursday, November 14th at the University of Minnesota. Congratulations, Hallie Jansma, for your great dives and doing a great job representing the girls' dive team. Good job to all of the girls who, who were competing as well. All performed amazing. Good job to the girls' swim team. For four individual performances, Lily Sisson in the 200 and 500 free, and Stella Bouchard in the 200 IM and 100 butterfly, and two relays, 200 free of Amy Birmingham, Emma Patterson, Kaya Chernis, and Lily Sisson, and 400 free for Stella Bouchard, Kaya Chernis, Molly Vogan, and Lily Sisson. All advanced from state prelims on Friday to state finals on Saturday. Francis dropped time from her section championship performance and just missed advancing to the finals. Great job, great season to the entire team. Signing out, Landon, and back to the anchors. Wow, that made me want to go swimming. Cadence, that's way too cold for that. You're right, I might do soccer instead. Take it away, Ryan. Both the CI and PI divisions of the Dakota Hawks made it to the adapted soccer tournament hosted last weekend in White Bear Lake. The CI Division won three impressive victories, winning all of their games 3-0, taking home the gold in their division. The PI Division won their first game of the night, placing them in the winner's bracket, and ultimately taking home fourth place in some hard-fought games. Congratulations to both the CI and PI Divisions on a great season, and congratulations to the CI Division on their first soccer tournament victory since 2012. Now we have Ada Kramer here to discuss her team's recent victory. Honestly, I was quite surprised because we were the number three seed going into state and the number one seed had lost to like a number four seed in the first round of the tournament. So it was quite a surprise. <laughs> hey, Cadence, what did the turkey say to the computer? Um, I don't know. What? Google, Google. Ha ha. <laughs> it's not even Thanksgiving yet. No, but get ready for turkey bingo tomorrow for the flash. Well, that's all we have for you today, Eastview. Thanks for watching The, the Forecast. forecast.